Hi, my name is Ryan Hutter. I'm an AMGA certified rock guide for Sierra Mountain Center. And today we're going to talk about repelling and how to create a safer repel rig. So we're here. We've got our master point or our, our anchor that we're about to repel off of. In this case, we've got two locking carabiners and we've got a doubled over repel rope. So we're already here and now we need to figure out how to affix ourselves to the repel rope so that we can repel down safely. What most people are familiar with is attaching the belay device to the belay loop with a locking carabiner and then doubling over our two repel ropes and feeding our belay device and capturing both of the strands with the locker, just like we belay. While this is completely appropriate still for short repels or maybe a single repel at the end of the day, uh, what we're gonna teach you today is a safer way to make many multi-pitch repels or to make repels when carrying a heavy backpack or being able to go hands-free if you need to deal with a stuck rope or ropes that have gotten caught on ledges down below, for instance. So we're gonna take ourselves off of this and talk about the tools that we're gonna need to create that repel rig. So first, we take our personal anchor system. This one is made by Metolius, but all the manufacturers seem to make something similar to this. We take the larger loop and we thread it through our hard tie-in points. Those are the same points that we tie in with the climbing rope and we girth hitch that around both of those hard tie-ins. Now you've got a smaller loop that's closest to you. This is going to be what you attach your repel device to. Clip that in. Attach yourself, just like you're familiar with, into the rope. Clipping both strands of the rope and the keeper wire. Suck yourself up a little bit tight. And now, what, I, what we like to do is get this out of the way by taking a locking carabiner and clipping it off to our belay loop so that it's not off to the side and it's clean and out of your way. Now we take our auto block and that is a short loop of cordage, five millimeter cordage, or you can buy one pre-made in the store. We have a locking carabiner and we attach that to our belay loop. We move the knot close to the carabiner so that it's out of the way. And now we take both strands of the loop around both strands of the climbing rope. And it doesn't matter if we wrap up or down. I'm gonna wrap up and we wrap around once, twice, three times for a doubled over single climbing rope. Clip that loop and lock off the carabiner. Now you have a friction hitch on the rope below your repel device so that if you were to come hands free or if you needed to deal with the rope somewhere below you, you're able to do so. That's going to be able to hold the two brake strands in the brake position for you. So now we've got our repel rig set up. The belay device is up above us. That allows us to have our body weight further below this center of gravity and it allows us to be more stable if we had a heavy backpack or if we were repelling over a steep overhang. And we've also got our friction hitch on the rope as a hands-free backup. And since this is a personal anchor system and it's designed for this purpose, we have a clip-in attachment for the next anchor that we encounter and we're able to clip into any one of these loops individually. They're as strong as the whole thing is in and of itself. So we have this clipped off to ourselves. We can repel down, keeping our hand above the auto block so that it doesn't seize up. Otherwise it can be a pretty bumpy ride. 
we get down to our next rappel station, if we're making multi-pitch rappels, we take the locking carabiner that it's attached to the anchor system off of our belay loop, and now we can attach ourselves to the next anchor and be safe and confident that that is a full strength setup. We like this a lot more just because it allows us to have a lot more confidence in the system and it gives us a backup. So next time you're out climbing, give this a shot, practice it first on the ground and give us a call if you have any questions.